And tonight, families want answers for that cold case in Saline County. Today, I talked to the family and the Saline County Sheriff to see where that case stands. A sister losing two siblings less than two days apart and a mother losing two children in August of 2007. This seems like it's still yesterday because there's never been a closure to it and I want peace. Peace and For Mary Miller's children, Jerome Miller and Jade Winston, who died a little more than 24 hours apart almost 15 years ago to this day. Jade dying of a gunshot wound to the head, Jerome in a car crash about 27 hours later. Saline County needs to be held accountable for the mistakes that they made and, um, and the person that did murder Jade needs to be brought to justice. But Saline County Sheriff Whipper Johnson says getting justice after 15 years requires new leads around a case with a lot of questions. The timeline showed that three minutes after uh, then Chief Deputy uh, arrived on scene, he, he declared it a uh, homicide. Another deputy on scene had already declared it uh, self-inflicted, whether it was accidental or suicide, wasn't determined. So I, I think combination of overzealous police work and uh, lack of experience in homicide investigations uh, led that investigation to the coroner's inquest which returned uh, the homicide. New Leeds Johnson says the family says they have, but won't give him. I don't know what else that we could offer. Um, we're certainly open to interview anybody they've got that has information, but again, that, that's not, nobody's come forward. Well, she, well, why won't the Let's family give the sheriff's office their new information? I don't trust them to, to go over her case if they're looking at it as, as, it, as a suicide and, um, or accidental death, because like I said, our family was never told that leaving the family and friends of Jade Winston and Jerome Miller still searching for justice.